guys, this is Kayla. This is Becky. And we're with a couple of bees, and we like to read, but we also like to predict what book of the month is going to give us each month. And this month, we got four out of seven picks correct. This is a record for us. It is. Oh, we're getting better and better every month. I don't know why. So, because I've, let's see, you've had your subscription for two years. Right. right. Two uh, years. And I've had mine for just a little over a year now. And uh, so, but like Camp Zero was one, the romantic comedy, and the only survivor. And then we predicted Hang the Moon, but we, we didn't predict it for this month. We predicted yeah. it for last month, I think. It, it might have been last month. It might have even been, been the two month. months ago. Yeah. So yeah, that one was a weird one. I don't know if we got our wires crossed or if it was initially said that it would be published two months ago right and then it wasn't because as you know the publishing industry can be <laughs> they might announce something and it might be a couple of months like um i think it was clytemestra that was has been po uh, postponed till the summer yeah some different ones because um, it got like all the initial copies caught on fire Right, and um, then the house on fire was one that we picked. Yes, yeah, speaking of fires, the house on fire was one we picked. And, and the shards as well. And those yes. were add-ons yes. uh, this time. So so really, we you know we picked a couple of other ones as well. So it was really interesting. Um, I know we... And there were... I guess there was a few that I'm surprised they didn't pick. But I understand they can't pick... All can't of pick them. everything everything you know right. even as add-ons so and it turns out um i got uh with Advika. 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 yeah and, and then then i got Hollywood. pineapple straight and i'm trying to remember what the other one i got was but i can't remember now uh but they'll all be interesting yes and i got the only survivors by megan miranda mm -hmm. which was one we had picked and I love Megan Miranda, yeah. so it was like as soon as her name popped up, was, well, that's who I have to pick. Yeah. And um, the other Lee Bardugo book, uh, because I just read Ninth House, so I mm -hmm. also got that add on. Right. But Camp Zero and um, let's see, what was it? Romantic Comedy Hellbent. Yeah. Hellbent was the one I got. Yeah. But yeah. Camp Zero and Romantic Comedy. Right. And also, Anna Maria and the Fox. Like, I seriously consider that because... I, well, I did too. And also the romantic comedy. Yes. Um, you know, I, I considered both of them. But uh, I, had, I have so many on my to-be-read list right. here. Right. And some of them have been sold out. And, you know, and I was lucky enough to get... Um, one or two that had been on my list for a very long time a couple of months ago um they got them back in stock which was very unusual so but so i still have a really long list i will probably be picking up anna maria and the fox which was not one that we had picked no at some point because i like the regency romance yes. and i like the idea of a not necessarily white regency romance yeah because that is a it, it's a culture in an era that i I have no knowledge of. Mm -hmm. So I like learning and yeah. I, I love a good, well, romance can be tedious for me at times. We all know that. We all know how I have a weird relationship with romance novels. This is true. She does. But. but I love a good romance. I love, I like, I like contemporary uh, women's fiction. It's probably my favorite genre. Right. And I wish they would carry more of it. Um, but. You know, I mean, I have my right the ones I read all the time, so that are not book of the month that I enjoy. But you know, as I go back and I look at you know things we have picked, things we haven't. I'm also I'm currently reading Hello Beautiful uh, right yes. now, and it's not a fast read, but it is a compelling read. It's like it's a little slower, but it's like I have to keep reading it because I want to know what happens next with this family right uh, so it's it's very interesting and so i am enjoying it well i i think my only non book of the month pick that i'm reading currently is um one that my my three-year-old bought for me 
<laughs> because I left the Kindle open, and it's called Clown in a Cornfield, which <laughs> it's a slasher young adult novel, which, guys, you know, I like scary stuff. I like the horror. I write the horror. Well, that's like, a good thing. She said she not, didn't buy just it, but the, uh, but the yeah, sequel to it as she well. Wrote, she bought it and the sequel. It's being compared to Scream. Um, so that is what I'm also reading. Mm -hmm. So the moral of this story is don't leave your <laughs> Kindle open and let the three-year-old get a hold of it because there's no telling how many books you'll end up you yes, know, buying at although, one time. Although if it's good... I'm definitely going to review it here, <laughs> and we will all know if Clown in the Cornfield, Clown the, in the Cornfield, like I need you guys to understand oh what this is. Oh my goodness, that's just a crazy title. All right, it's, well, it's, anyway, the whole point of this post was supposed to be our predictions. We're doing better. Yes, yes, we are doing much better on those predictions. Sorry, and we're we chasing be, squirrels today for I some am. reason. I apologize. <laughs> I no. just, it happened the other night, and I was like, I can't believe you just bought me this incredibly weird book. <laughs> like, oh, well, but it's fine. That's, that's hard. That'll be okay. <laughs> I'll be interested in seeing what you think about it. So. Yes. Anyway, I guess she was just um, trying to say, happy birthday, Mom, because next week's your birthday. It is. That's right. Oh, my goodness. We, we don't need to talk about that, though. Oh, sure. Which meant, by the way, if you're a Book of the Month best friend... On your birthday, then, you get a free book. So my add-on, which this week was hell or this month was hellbent, uh -huh. it was free. It was free. So, so great! Another good reason to belong to Book of the Month. Absolutely. They always tell you happy birthday with a book. Yes, so, and that's the best present. That's right. Well, thanks for listening, and come back and join us again. I hope you have a great week. Bye, guys. Bye.